This is looking absolutely fantastic. I mean, just look at all the plants. I love it. And my very first starfish. Hi, little guys. Oh my gosh, they are so freaking cute. I love this, I love this, I love this. Not to mention that this historical aquarium that we have acquired responsibility for is actually doing really, really well, in my opinion, you guys, considering we've only been taking care of it for a day so far. But, oh, oh dear, it looks like we've got quite a bit of mail to sort through. But we must carry on with all of our work that we need. Tobias has now leveled up, fantastic. Let's go ahead and we are going to level Tobias up in uh let's see what is he really good at he's really good at fitness which is a natural talent for cleaning in the gift shop um he also is really good at memory so he's a natural talent for fixing and talking um let's level him up in fixing then oh my gosh that's so cool i love how i'm actually able to help out our staff with what they can learn now we are slowly but surely gaining skills all over the place my friends and oh yay we have just unlocked the blue tubular sponge! Woohoo! Woo! All right, it is a tropical lover, so we're going to need to take good care of it. Um, and that means we might get the fuzzy dwarf lionfish as one of our new creatures that we're going to add in. Oh dear, and I need to go ahead and we actually need to have more cuckoo rassi. I didn't realize that. With sufficient water quality and sufficient chilling for six cuckoo rassi? I don't think I made a big enough tank. Okay, you're so cool. Did you see that? You got a bump to your base prestige for exhibiting the first cold water fish in the history of the Valberg Aquarium, which is kind of funny because our Valberg Historic Aquarium here is actually located in a very cold area. So the fish really like the cold water here and we actually need to chill the water. Hmm. So I don't know why they didn't think to do that, but that's okay. Base prestige doesn't degrade over time like normal prestige, so it's very handy for ranking up. You receive it for completing special objectives like the one you just did. Anyway, on to the next challenge. Continue to expand your range of animals, both tropical and cold water, with the aim of reaching rank level 6. All right, I can totally get on that. Um, it looks like I'm gonna have to remove a few of my precious, precious plants, but that's okay, because we need to add in a couple spots where more of the kukurasi will be able to hide. So I think if I do that one, and then let's go ahead and remove another one of those, I should be able to get, yeah, enough driftwood pieces. There we go. Look at how happy everybody is. And all of those kukurasi should give us a lot of science prestige as well. They are so beautiful. Oh my goodness. Hopefully they'll still have enough space when they grow up. But all right, I do want to get some of these corals that we have just collected in, like the blue tubular sponge coral and maybe some disco mushrooms. Oh, what's this? Oh, all of our starfish. Oh, some of our starfish couldn't grow up. <laughs> There's insufficient space. Uh, all right, so I'm going to need another cold water tank for more starfish. And what's this? <gasps> the tourism board. Hello, we represent the Valberg Tourism Board. We are very pleased with the changes you are making here, especially the introduction of cold water species. People are flocking to Valberg from surrounding villages to see the new display. Oh gosh, it tickles me whenever people say uh, villages because that's just not something that's done in most places here in the United States, unless you're trying to be cutesy. Um, or you live in like a really remote or niche area. So every time I see someone talk about villages, it's just like, oh, that's adorable. We would love to see the range of cold water species expand even further. We would be happy to make a donation to facilitate this. So we need to get three different cold water animals, and then we will get a reward of $105,000 afterward. So we're actually going to need the Atlantic Pollock as soon as we are done researching the fuzzy dwarf lionfish. And uh, what does this lionfish eat? He eats mussels. He does not want to be housed with non-lionfish and scorpion fish. He gets pretty big. I think that I might put him in with some pretty, pretty corals over here in just a little bit. So let's actually make a hallway where we're going to add in some pretty, pretty corals. Yeah. Here, we're going to make a big hallway and then eventually we'll add more cold water animals on the side. But I want to have a nice deep observer tank over here. Let's flip it, flip it. There we go. 
and then make it pretty big because I think whoa power pump yay all right let's get the oh we need the power light if I'm gonna do these corals absolutely need that um and then let me go ahead and expand over here a little bit I may make a little like seating area with a little spot with chocolate that people could come get I really love that people are able to like come and eat chocolate in little chocolate dispensers now that's just freaking cute all right let's get a little staff door over here on this side and then i might need to expand this actually to have a good pump section over here that can feed and take care of all of those animals all right let's put that there there so people can just run straight up to take care of things and then we're gonna try putting the yeah, we're gonna try putting like the Jisco mushrooms and then the dwarf lionfish when he's ready over here. And let's put in another one of the cockles dispensers over here. There we go. And then let's also, it looks like we need a lot more tool stations. So I'm gonna come back here and we're just gonna like have this be our secret tool station <laughs> for now. And hopefully we'll have enough tool stations going out and about. And it looks like more- yay! Dwarf lionfish is done! Boom! It looks like more people are getting hungry. So we're gonna- we're gonna like hide the little chocolate dispensers all over the place. Which I know my beloved Chips would love. My husband, he loves, loves, loves chocolate. Um, so it kind of tickles me to be able to hide those around the place. You and we need- do we have the sponge set? We do have the sponge set, but I don't think I have enough people like working on cleaning. Oh, we got some more news. Okay, the Kukurasi could not grow up because there's not enough room. Hang in there, guys. I promise we'll we'll give you a new expanded cold water tank at some point. Uh, in fact, I can I can I can start working on that now. Maybe a deep corner tank. Yeah, maybe I can make like a deep corner tank over here, and we can put in more of the cold water animals. Do I want to do that? A deep corner tank? Yeah, yeah, I think that that would be actually really nice. So we'll do that. And then I'll expand it this way for our staff. So stay out, please. Yes, yes, Alex, I appreciate that you have a lot of curiosity. I'm always encouraging that curiosity. Uh, but now is not the time. All right, there we go. And let's get in a couple staff doors. Boom, bada boom. And then I'm gonna need basically the same setup I had over there. So a nice large filter tucked up against this with two chillers. Okay, Put this here and then two chillers. Boom, I'm gonna need to research a better chiller for sure. And then let's move some of the Cuckoo Rassi over here with a couple starfish. And that should give everybody enough room to grow and thrive. And have a spot where once we finish researching this Pollock, we'll be able to add the Pollock in, which makes me happy. All right, and then let's see, where are my plants? Kelp, kelp, kelp. Yay! I think that there's finally gonna be enough room. Yay, and now they've had a chance to grow up. Woo, that makes me really happy. Uh, and we'll get another one of the cockle things installed too to be able to dispense cockles for them all right let's put you how about right over here so if somebody can just grab it and run straight up the, the ladder all right excellent and we're really improving this area i think um and leaving room for more i think i'm gonna make a chocolate zone <laughs> i i know that seems kind of silly but i just really love the idea of having like a chocolate zone back here where people can just like come and get some chocolate. Uh, so I'm gonna put down more chocolate and a drink a drink area as well. So let's do this and a fizzy drink machine and of course a bin. And then we'll we'll kind of sneak some bins around the place. We really need to clean the bathrooms. <laughs> I'm a little scared about the bathrooms. I'm not gonna lie, they're a little scary. But we're just doing our best with what we got right now, and that's all I can say. 
All right, so while we're waiting for the cold water Pollock and for the better lights, because without the better lights, we can't really do anything for the fancy, fancy coral that we're waiting for. I'm gonna do the shipwreck paint on the interior. There we go. Of all of our little spots for the tanks. There we go. And inside where the staff work. Because I love the idea that like these are the little ships and then everywhere else is going to be the little harbor. The harbor side paint. So let me get these down. Even though I'm probably about... Yay! And now we have the Pollock! <gasps> we can have the Hermit Crabs back! Oh, how I love the Hermit Crabs! Uh, but let's go with the Panther Grouper, actually. It's a fantastic, fantastic fish. It gets really big. Holy cow, does it ever get really big. And it provides a ton of science. So we're going to start working on that. And the Atlantic Pollock ne only needs to be fed every other day. This is useful as it reduces the feeding demands on your staff. You can find the frequency with which an animal needs to be fed by hovering over its food icon. Yay! Okay, so that guy doesn't have a very big appetite. Good to know. Meanwhile... Woo! I am so proud! This is like the best aquarium we have built yet, guys. Go us! Really doing well here. All right. And the Kukurasi could not grow up in tank six, huh? So I'm gonna try... What if I move it over here? Maybe it'll have enough room over here. Oh, they're so pretty. All right, so let's try one of these Pollocks. Where'd they go? The Atlantic Pollock, they eat sand eels. Uh, they will eat animals who are size one to three. They get a little bit of prestige. Oh my gosh, it's huge! <laughs> but now, <gasps> look at that! We got a new specimen! Glorious specimens! Excellent job! These new cold water specimens are simply fascinating, and they are sure to make the tourism board over in Linham jealous. Talk, uh, talking of the Linham tours and board, they've sent this to our office as a sort of practical joke. We're not sure what to do with it. Could you look after it? A turbot! Oh my gosh, it's greedy! It will eat anything. Starfish! It'll eat my starfish! Watch out! Oh no! Okay, so we'll have to figure out what to do with that specimen at some point. Right now, he would eat my precious starfish. So I might need to make like a little... Oh, we can make a little starfish tank right over here! <gasps> I love that idea! Just a tiny little cold water tank that could have my starfish inside of it. I actually really love that idea. So let's go ahead and put down some walls right here. And then we're gonna figure out like a, like a lagoon tank with starfish. <gasps> yes, I love that idea. And we'll make like a nice, I, I wish I could even, okay. Maybe if I knock this wall back, I could make it a little more even. Okay, I actually could knock that wall back. Not ideal, but I can do it. And you guys get out of my spot. No wonder you're all complaining. They're like, oh no, I can see things I don't want to see. Well, Madison and Carrie, if you could please remove yourselves <laughs> from the staff only area, you wouldn't see the things that upset you so. And then let's put a wall right there. There we go. All right. And then let's expand back here. I'll have some more nice little pumps. We'll expand the pump room. Yay, the grouper is ready to go. Let's get that fox face rabbit fish worked on up. And then, no, no, sir, you need to, please. Pardon me, Toby. I appreciate your curiosity. You gotta be nice, you know what I mean? Even when people are getting where they shouldn't be. It's like, pardon me, William, please. This way. Uh, apparently I need to install like a lot of benches because everybody is just absolutely knackered as they say. Uh, all right, we'll put that over here. Yes, and we have the power lights. Boom. Let's research that large protein skimmer because I'm going to need that if we are going to be able. Here, we can just get rid of those. We don't need as many toolboxes as I was joking about. There. Nice little lagoon. All right. So let's make a safe place for my precious starfish to go, where they won't get eaten by the new thing that we now have to take care of. Which means putting a pump here, connecting it up, and then, yes, we just ranked up in prestige! Boom! 
We have unlocked pirate cove paint, velvet horns, painted columns, pirate chest, ancient gates, frilled anemones, Arabian butterfly fish, French angelfish, Valenrosis, large chillers, and double filters. I'm very happy about that. All right, and the final stretch. Fantastic work. Valberg is definitely back on the map. While you've been expanding, I've been talking to the aquarium's board of directors. Together, we've come up with a final set of objectives. This will be the first time where you will have all of the, uh, where you have been set a daily revenue objective. The simplest way is to increase your to increase your revenue is to increase your prestige. Other sources of revenue include the food, drink, and gift shop sales. I might have a gift shop soon. Oh my gosh, I'm very excited about that actually. I think that's gonna be a lot of fun. Uh, but all right, so let's go ahead and put a basic chiller, a couple of them on that. And then let's put another basic pump, connect it up. And we're gonna have a large filter on that. And now we have a cute little lagoon spot where we can now take my starfish and safely transfer my starfish over here. I should have two starfish in here. Yes, yes. And now, yay, people can come over and check out our starfish now, which makes me really happy. Wow, they're really excited to see the starfish. <laughs> I did not expect that reaction. Like everyone is just crowding around. So they must love the goon tanks or something. Uh, Cuckoo Rassi cannot grow up. Cuckoo Rassi four cannot grow up. In tank six, Cuckoo Rassi number four, huh? Can I move you over? The tank is now full. Okay, with a couple of starfish, this has made a full tank. Uh, well, hang in there, Cuckoo Rossi number four. Here, maybe if I go ahead. All right, and then is this tank four? That's tank nine. That's tank eight. But I didn't put a Cuckoo Rossi in a tank four. Tank eight, interesting. We'll, we'll look into that in a little bit. Uh, all right. Meanwhile, these starfish need maybe some, here we go. Some pretty, pretty plants surrounding them. And ooh, the velvet horn. Oh, I should have tried the velvet horn. That's a new one. That adds prestige and a ton of plants and rocks. <gasps> okay. I take it back. I take it back. I want to, I want the velvet horn. Boom! Oh, that's beautiful. All right, hopefully people will enjoy it. And I can put a grass down there, a feather thingy over there. And then where's that weird guy who I made this whole tank so he wouldn't eat my, my fish? Is he... There we go. Common starfish have grown up. Um, Turbot. I got him! Is he going to be okay in here? I need to give him some food, a different type of food. He needs mussels. So we're gonna put this right here. All right, and now there's mussels available. Uh, also, I think I need to give some more types of food. <gasps> Real enemy! I wanna see what that has. Heck! All right, I think we might wanna take a second to kind of tidy up, because it's getting close to like the end of the day and tidy up everything that we have got. As soon as I put down some more food pieces, where the heck, I always forget where the food is until we really have to just like zip through everything. So we've got mussels and I think I put down more cockles. I need more sand eels, there we go. Just to make sure we've got everything there. And I think I need to hire another person who's good, okay, at feeding or gift shop. That sounds great, boom. All right, phew. Okay, let's tidy up what we have created because we really transformed the whole place today. I love the idea of having a pirate cove paint. So we're going to make this into a little pirate cove zone. Look at how cute this is. Holy cow. Oh my gosh. We've got a little pirate cove where you can come over and you can see the little starfish. That's adorable. And now we're going to come over here with the shipwreck paint and make a little shipwreck spot for the rest of the behind the scenes zone with our stuff. And here, and along here, and along here. All right, is that everywhere? That is everywhere. 
All right, so we still have a lot we need to manage. Like I need to put better filtration systems uh, on, let's do power pump this thing. And I think even just a small power filter will help out. Yeah, it did. Whoa, okay, sorry about that guys. Made me a little dizzy. All right, there we go. <laughs> All right, so we have upgraded so many things. We have cold water tanks. We have two cold water tanks. I have built, I think, two tanks. No, this is the tank that's gonna have all of the fancy corals in just a little bit. We have our gigantic tank over here filled with kelp and puffer fish and the huge, huge, what are these guys again? They're huge, what are they? The humpback snappers, of course. And we've got the humpback snappers over here in their beautiful kelp forest. This is fantastic. And next time we'll be able to work on guidebooks and we'll be able to actually work on trying to figure out how to get more money and increase our prestige. We've actually hit the daily revenue target. This is great. We are gaining so many skills. I think we're going to be able to build some like world famous aquariums easy peasy if we keep this up. But alright guys, if you could, do please leave a like for ah, uh, getting a little dizzy and nauseous when you slip on some of the aquarium stuff for our wonderful new discoveries. And if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, we've unlocked the large protein skimmer and stay curious. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.